Hey guys, Kenny within the pocket here again. And today I'm doing a quick video um, with my first impressions of this guy here, which is the Sprint Run Vitoku 2 sandwiched with Sus 410 uh, Spider Co. Delica 4. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet looking knife. And I'm really excited about this. Um, and the reason I'm doing this video, uh, well, first I want to apologize about the lighting. I know it's um, got shadows and everything. And the reason I'm doing it in this bad lighting is because uh, I'm going to be taking this guy to the post office. And I didn't want to, uh, I wanted to get this video done before that. So, yeah. So, guys, I'm really excited about this. I got a project coming up with this knife. I'm going to be doing an acid etch on the edge here. Um, in, inspired by the Big Brown Bear channel and Sean over there. He did a um, Endura 4 and it looked amazing. So I thought, you know what? I've been really wanting to try Delica. I already had this guy on my list of knives I wanted to tr um, get this year. And um, as soon as it came out, I was like, I'm grabbing it. I saw his video. I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going to do that. So... Anyways, my first impressions of this guy, it's an excellent knife. I really do love the Delica. It fits amazingly in your hand, and, um, you know, the fit and finish is pretty good. Uh, this is my first uh, Seki City Spyderco, and uh, the centering's a little off, and, you know, of course, this is just not going to be as nice as your Tai Chung or uh, Golden Colorado knives, but... You know, the action's pretty good. I really do enjoy it. Um, you know, totally flickable and uh, thumb flick. Really nice action on this guy. And everything is amazing. I just, the one thing is when I took this guy out of the box, I saw that, you know, the grind, you can see the Vitoku exposed there. On the one side, it's about an eighth inch. I flipped it over and it was about a quarter inch on the other side. So um, I got this guy at River's Edge and I called them this morning and talked to Brian over there and he was super, super responsive and ready to take care of it. I explained to him that I'm going to be doing an acid etch and normally I wouldn't be too uh, worried about it, but since I'm doing that, I didn't want it to be so off side to side and on the spine. So he was completely understanding and really responsive, told me just to send it back he'd go through the remaining um, inventory and pick the best for me. And I really, really appreciate the way they're responding to that. And I'm super excited about this. I got another really cool project, actually a few cool projects coming up, including a, a KME video in the next few days. So a lot of cool stuff coming out on the channel. Uh, hasn't been a lot in the last few weeks. I've had some personal stuff I've been dealing with, but Yep, so I'm really excited about these videos coming out soon um, and be looking for some new ones coming out in the next uh, weeks to come. All right, well, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.